your eight or ten year old child on Facebook? No? Are you sure they're not? Well, a new report just released today by our partners at Consumer Reports magazine claims 5 million children now have Facebook pages and in many cases their parents may not even know. Here's what you can do about it. 16-year-old Amy Stifle says she felt terrible after being bullied on her Facebook page. I just felt attacked by basically just a whole bunch of people for everyone to see. Devastated by the cyberbullying, Amy joined Love Our Children USA, a group that promotes internet safety. Many kids on Facebook are at risk of bullying, according to a new survey by our partners at Consumer Reports magazine of more than 2,000 households. We project that more than 5 million kids aged 10 and under had Facebook accounts last year, even though 13 is the minimum age that Facebook allows. And we found that most of their parents did nothing to monitor their Facebook activities. If you have a preteen using Facebook, you can gain access to their account by going to Facebook's privacy policy page and clicking on a link to fill out the report an underage child form. In order to protect your child, whatever their age, it's important to supervise their Facebook use. Become their friend and check their profiles regularly. You can also connect their Facebook account to your email so you see incoming messages. Facebook users of all ages should use privacy settings, but one in five members and many kids don't use these settings, according to Consumer Reports. To set them, go into the account's privacy settings and indicate friends only. That will keep bullies off your child's page. The Consumer Reports survey reveals some other troubling facts about Facebook, including that almost one in three people have friends they are not completely comfortable with. For more information on how to find out if your children are on Facebook and how you can set controls if you find out they are, check our website at WCPO.com so you don't waste your money. Brent and Tanya. All right, thanks, John.